welcome back welcome to my channel I'm about to read the cards for you this reading is for the full moon in Capricorn it's a blue moon the buck moon it's peaking on Sunday Sunday morning um, Eastern Standard Time at 6 17 a.m. that's July 27th first sorry and uh, while that will be the peak of the full moon um, you'll be able to feel its energies and work with its magic for a few days the day before the day after the moon will still be in its full bright shiny strength and power for you know the full day before day after that you can use these um, practices that I'm going to be talking about so this is a special time a special moment um, in the uh, when we're working with the moon manifestation it's it's the blue moon it's a rare opportunity for us and this is the full moon so the position of the Sun and the moon and the earth all in alignment the Sun's light bathing the moon and the moon showering those energies upon the whole earth the Sun is like the father the masculine energy the moon is the mother Luna the female the feminine energy and the two coming together in these signs at this time is like Capricorn Sun I mean I'm sorry Capricorn Moon and Cancer Sun it's like the, the male and female energies are intertwining and combining to produce something something amazing for us and of course our own thoughts and our own energies affect our own manifestations in many ways and so it's really important for us as a collective or as many people as possible to stay especially positive during this time so that whatever we produce is going to be more beautiful more calming more abundant for everyone and so please keep in mind at all times of course to keep our energies and our positivity as high our vibes as high as we can but this perhaps is a very significant time in a way that it gives us more power those energies from the Sun and the moon combining showering on the earth is a is a vibration and a frequency for us to all you know it, whatever we're dealing with whatever we're feeling at this time is going to be amplified and a blue moon period is about two and a half year period so that's a long time for whatever we're working on now concentrating on now to manifest okay so the moon is like the mother and the full moon is like the middle of our journey through life she's reaching the highest potential and creating something that will leave our mark on this world creating our legacy the mother can represent having children of course but it could also be and it may not be having physical children but also giving birth to an idea creating art starting a business or just creating a life that one enjoys this is a chance every full moon period every full moon is a chance to remind us to step into our power with courage and intention the full moon is the most powerful of all lunar phases it's the time to harvest the fruits of your endeavors and complete the plans that you've made during the new moon and while we can set intentions for the new moon to occur to come to fruition during the full moon within a couple weeks in all um, the way it works uh, more specifically is for a six-month period today or at this time we're 
working with Capricorn Moon, which is full because it's opposite of the Sun, which is in Cancer. And those are on an axis, Cancer and Capricorn, that work together, male and female, mother, father. And they, um, so when the, the new moon in Capricorn occurred last winter, we are now six months later to the full moon in Capricorn. And the full moon in Capricorn is going to bring together the completion of what you had planned six months ago with the new moon in Capricorn. So this is a magical time for us each month to develop our spiritual selves and renew our energies. As I was saying before, a day or two before and after the peak of the full moon is a good time for uh, doing the rituals that are great to do during the full moon period. Um, those rituals include making moon water, taking a jar, a glass jar of water, and setting it out into the moonlight overnight, perhaps adding, if you want, wish, a crystal like this quartz, which would be totally safe in the water. You would want to put safe crystals in the water. Um, but if you wanted to do this, and these are the kind, this is the kind of crystal that amplifies energy, the quartz crystals, you might want to put that in your water. And then you can use that moon water the next day. It'll be complete. And so you, you'll take it out. You can use it. You can sip it. You can ingest the, um, the energies. Or you can put it in your bath. You can water your plants with it, your garden. It's special, but it is a special. You can cleanse objects with it. It's your moon, your moon water will have the energy of that, of the intentions that you set in it and the full energy of that moon light charged fully by the sun. So this is, this is the energy that you'll be imbuing into the water. You can also charge your crystals in stones during this time. Every month I charge all of my crystals in the, um, in the moon, under the full moon, in order to keep them vibrant and energetic. You can take a moon bath. You can soak in the salts or um, maybe even add your moon water to the moon bath. Um, another interesting uh, ritual during this time for manifesting abundance is using your windowsill that captures the light of the moon and you can place money there or a coin, a wallet or your bank card. We'll put it on this windowsill and uh, let the moon charge that up. Give you more energy. Give your money more energy, more power. This is a Capricorn moon. It's about it's about manifesting and developing and working for, you know, the work that you do, producing something, you know, abundant and tangible. Another thing to remember during this time is that charity is especially blessed at this time. It, you should think about giving someone or or some uh, organization some of your money, time, energy. And whatever you give out during this time will come back to you even stronger than at other times. This is a very good time for charity. It's also a good time to gather with women. The full moon, uh, the moon itself, uh, through her phases, symbolizes the life of the woman. The maiden at the new moon, the full moon is the mother, and then at the waning moon in is the crone and she she is uh, developing into um, um, her wisdom and her uh, she's honing her she's passing her skills I'm, I'm sorry on to the younger ones and she's transitioning into a new phase which will be into the new moon a new life our death and rebirth and so the moon uh, gathering with women at this time is traditional. And so uh, women like to gather uh, to share, to laugh, love, dance, sing, um, create things, art, music. It's a beautiful time for that. 
And as I said before, we are in the Capricorn moon. This is a time to release control and trust the universe. Capricorn moon is a very strong, Capricorn itself, a very strong worth, work ethic and energy. To, it's a good to be reminded to move through any feelings of hopelessness that you might have, feel at this time. And the way to cope with that would be to make plans. Making a plan is a far better use of your time than hopelessness. Those born under the Capricorn moon, you'll be feeling these energies even more strongly. They need to learn uh, to take care of themselves instead of working themselves to exhaustion. Those born under the Capricorn moon are emotionally self-reliant. They feel best when they are in control of a situation or accomplishing tasks. The Capricorns are the workhorses um, of the Zodiac. The full moon in Capricorn, the buck moon, you must work harder to finish what you started six months ago. That's what this moon is calling for us to do. This is not the time to settle for no, but to tackle obstacles once and for all. This is also a sign that the end of a tough cycle is approaching. So you've been through a lot, you've been working hard, especially if you've been working on something, on an intention that you set, uh, set for yourself six months ago during the new moon in Capricorn. But this full moon cycle is, is signaling that this is the end of the tough cycle. Okay, so we are getting to the end of this. Ask yourself, how hard are you willing to work for what you want? Effort is required. Um, work issues may come up at this time. Uh, the end of a rough time is forecast at this time. Consider how ambitious you are and whether you are prepared to pull out all the stops to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. In love, this can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation that you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more okay okay and as I said um, the blue moon this is a blue moon so every two and a half years two full moons occur in the same month or the same sign and that's what we're experiencing here we had a, a Capricorn full moon at the very beginning of cancer season and this full moon in Capricorn will occur at the very end of Capricorn season, entering into Leo season, which is represented by the sun. So this is a, a, a particularly poignant moment because the, the moon is ruled by Cancer, or Cancer is ruled by the moon, I should say, and Leo is ruled by the sun. And on this day of this particular Capricorn moon, full moon, this particular buck moon, this particular blue moon will also be igniting the energies of both Cancer and Leo at the same time. They'll be merging together basically at this time because we're going to be so far into Cancer season and so close to that to Leo season and that's another exciting point about this particular blue moon because it's it's our soul and our emotions our mother and our father coming together our divine parents coming together and creating this magical time okay it's 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 very exciting to me um, it's a super every blue moon because it's so rare it's so it's like the moon got got a double dose of Capricorn energy, okay? So we, we already had our dose of Capricorn energy at the last full moon, and here we are getting another full dose of Capricorn sun onto the moon. And so it's a supercharged full moon. Every full moon is a very powerful time, but the blue moon 
is extremely power. It's supercharged. It gives off a much higher energy and frequency than the regular full moon. So don't let this time go to waste as you create some serious magic. Now, as I was saying, generally the full moon is a culmination um, of what was began what began six months ago. But that doesn't mean that you don't have magic right now. We're going to talk about that when we get into our reading, okay? And so you can use this tarot reading and any other uh, signs and messages that you get from the universe as a way to solidify your intentions and help you to create the intentions that work best for you. I would also advise to look at where Capricorn is in your natal chart, what house it's in. Look at um, where Leo and Cancer fall in your natal chart as well. Try to work with those houses to formulate an intention and because the power the, the full moon is so powerful it is possible that during this moment your intentions that seemed far-fetched or too hard to believe to come true those could be this could be this magic moment that you need to to create the miracle to to feel that miracle to actually witness something rare to take place for you and so let me um, explain um, this is a positive sign this um, this blue moon is if you've ever felt like you were asking too much of the universe whatever you are asking about well it might only happen once in a blue moon but it can happen it is important that you believe in it if you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never happen, then guess what? It won't happen. So just be grateful for this moment that we have and remember to believe in your dreams. Okay? It's, it's not impossible. Okay. So I want to thank you for joining me. We're getting, we're getting ready to do some readings for you. I'm going to have a special reading for you to... Um, to help you to understand this full moon energy and how to work with it in order to make your dreams come true. So let's get into it. Thank you. So for the full moon spread, I have in mind to do the six cards. So for Scorpio, I'm asking Spirit, please, to give us the information that we need to make our uh, manifestations easier to tell us what we need to know and what we need to work on um, at this time so that we can continue to grow all right so here we go thank you spirit okay all right so the first card we have here is in a position uh, of what i have created since the new moon in other words, how far have I come? How have I grown? Um, you know, what ha what changes have been made? Let's look at that. Oh, wow. Look, Ace of Cups. Okay. So it looks like in the last six months or maybe up until this point, maybe right now you're dealing, maybe you're feeling this now, but you have an Ace of Cups. You have, you have earned this gift from Spirit or you have... Maybe you didn't have to earn it. Maybe it's just something that you were, something that you does divinely deserved or or that spirit just wanted to give you as a gift. This overflowing chalice of refreshing love and uh, joyous emotion and abundance. It's just, it's just an incredible gift. It's, some, it's something that fills your heart and makes you extremely happy and, and grateful. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to be. Anybody would want that. <laughs> so let's see. what. Um, where are you now, Scorpio? Okay. So perhaps you're in this uh, uh, feeling of, uh, in the Five of Swords, like you have some mental conflict, uh, some conflict with your ideas, um, or some feelings of... Um, victory dejection 
embarrassment, whatever it is. It's something, I feel like this is a very temporary thing because the cups, of the Ace of Cups will totally override this. Um, you know, this could be a, a simple uh, learning experience or, you know, a, um, it could be something mentally, something that you're mentally dealing with. Um, but anyway, let's, we're going to clarify all of these cards in just a moment. But let's go ahead and check what the next one says. This is, this card is um, explaining to us or to you, what are you becoming aware of? So it's telling you what you want, what you should be recognizing at this time, what you should be noticing right now. And we have that um, three of cups. Now, I seem to remember, it seems like the last reading that I did for you was, had a three of cups in there too, as like a some kind of a, um, um, an, a, a blessing of some, of some kind. But I'm seeing that you should be aware of this again. Um, you should be uh, feeling about this. You should be enjoying this uh, beautiful time. Look at this. You have, you have, you've reached this point within the last six months and probably up to now. And here you have something to be aware of is your connections with people, your, your love for your sisters and your, your family, your, your girlfriends, your, the women in your life, or just the people that you love could be males too. Um, you know, you, you have this, it seems like you're celebrating this somehow. And there's just seems to be a little a little bit of a feeling here uh, at the moment, perhaps just a temporary feeling of like something just didn't go completely the way it you wanted to, or maybe it did. Maybe maybe you had some kind of um, outcome where you outsmarted other people. You know that you you. Um, yeah, you, you could have, you have three swords and everybody else lost their swords, you know, so you came out of some kind of a conflict or situation, um, you know, um, but there's still this feeling of disharmony here. So let's look into this a little bit more. I'm going to get this clarifier cards for these and help hopefully it will help us to understand more about this um and and each of the cards all together as a whole all right so here we go scorpio what does scorpio need how to clarifying and understand these cards better please spirit thank you okay all right we have three okay so here we have, we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, let me look at this again. I think this is this way. You know, they came out both together. The Ace of Cups is clarified by the Six of Wands saying you have earned every one of your successes. And I think that this, this is what I was saying earlier about something special. Spirit is giving you a reward, a gift, and it looks like you got this through uh, in the last six months, the six of wands. Maybe you had six months of um, playing the game where you came out on top now. You are, you are triumphant. You are victorious. And the, the message on the card is you have earned every one of your successes. You're the victor. You're you have the pride and you, and you you deserve it this is your trophy this king this ace of cups and here um i believe this is the sat the um this is the capricorn energy that is applied and clarifying to this five of swords energy and the five of i mean the four of pentacles is what you have Holding on too tight can stop you from moving forward. Okay. 
Um, control is part of the issue here. Um, it looks like you have, like you might be abusing some power here or someone's abused power towards you. Um, suspicious, covetousness, and you're protecting your own swords here. And possessiveness, possessiveness is going on here too. Um, I think there's something here about, um, now this is describing where you are now. So this is just some valuable advice and perspective for you. It's, it's a, it's a little bit of a lesson to learn, but that's okay. You know, um, you have so much abundance over here on either side of this moment in time. Okay. Uh, there's, there's nothing wrong with any, with learning a lesson at all, but it looks like you might be having some control issue or um, suspicious or covetous uh, feelings uh, at, for some reason. But let's just move ahead and see what else we have. Um, the You're becoming aware of this celebration, celebratory uh, atmosphere and uh, abundance of love and good cheer and happiness, joy, bounty. Let's see how that's clarified. It's clarified with justice card. Use your intuition to set your moral compass. So this is your um, advice here. Um, cause and effect, balance, fairness, and accountability. Um, it looks like whatever's going on here, you should be aware that just for, for the outcome of justice is on your side. Just as I was saying here, Spirit is giving you this gift. Spirit says you deserve it. You've earned every one of your successes. Even this success that made you feel like maybe made you feel a little uh, rough or made you feel a little out of sorts in some way or um, it doesn't matter. Spirit says you deserve the, the bounty. You deserve the, um, the, the new beginning with love, the celebration, the bounty, the victory. You deserve it because that's what's justice. That's that's um, that's the, the truth and the clarity is in the fact that you're getting what you deserve, which is love, joy, abundance, recognition. Okay. Um, just try to deal with this. Um, I would just suggest to, you know, move through this feeling with you know letting it go with love you know be be gracious and forgiving to others at this time at every time at any time for real and uh you know try to um be generous with your uh with your forgiveness okay generous with forgiveness that would also equal the scales and will help um uh, a lot um because, you know, there's a cause and effect and balance and fairness and accountability for everything. Everyone, anyone that did any harm to you will be made accountable. The same way that the universe gave you what you deserve, the universe will give, gives us all what we deserve. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and look at what's going on in the release row column, release column. So the first card is, what is it time for me to surrender? What is time to surrender? Okay, so you have more satisfaction. Cups, nine of cups, satisfaction, 
You're proud of yourself. You, you're not, this is not what you're supposed to surrender. You're supposed to surrender the opposite of that. Okay. I, you should feel proud of yourself and your accomplishments. And, you know, these, these cups are making you happy. And, you know, you have everything you need. Okay. Um, let's go ahead with the next one. How can I let go of what is no longer for me? The strength card. So it's going to take some, um, it's going to take strength and will, determination and courage, um, discipline and devotion. So use your strength to um, overcome or to, to release. Um, there might be a pride issue that needs to be released, uh, overly proud. But we're going to clarify all of this, so don't hold me to that right now. This card here is what resources are supportive to me as I release. So you have in your favor, supporting you, the will of fortune. This is the cycle of change here. Um, the will of flow, if you will. So whatever your vibrations are at this time, and you want, you know, if, if you have vibrations like this, then you want to be mindful to turn them up and turn them around. You know, it's, this is, you're in a time of uh, change for a new cycle. And so uh, it's time to go with the flow and to be uh, optimistic in order for that change to produce something beautiful, you know, and not something um, hurtful or low vibration, you know, whatever. Um, so here we have justice telling us that there's a cause and effect. There's eternal justice. There's balance and fairness and accountability to, to think about. The Wheel of Fortune is also here to remind us about that. That while the wheel is turning and things are changing and moving into a new cycle, out of an old and into a new, go into the new cycle with your vibrations high. Go into a new cycle proud, happy, proud of yourself, you know, for what you've done, for what you've accomplished. In love with your life, you know, uh, joyful and abundant. That's the way you want to go into this new cycle so that what you produce from that will be more of the same, more abundant, more joyful, more proud, more victorious even. Now I'm going to clarify this row. Let's see what we have with there. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Please uh, let us know with Scorpio what to do, what we should, how we should understand these cards better. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, two more, please. We'll do these two. Okay, so this card is telling me um, what have uh, what you should release right now, and it's clarified with the Four of Cups, which says, "Don't let your focus close you to new ideas." So I think what you, yeah, you're what you're doing here is releasing um, apathy. Um, boredom or demotivation here. Um, if Spirit's trying to hand you this cup right here, okay? Spirit's, oh, I see what you're saying. You're satisfied. You've got this cup. You've got all these cups and you're satisfied. And now Spirit's trying to hand you another cup, this big, beautiful cup. And you're just like, I don't need it. I've got everything I need right here. So you need to release the attitude of apathy or, uh, you know, saying blocking yourself off with your arms closed because, look, your arms are closed in both of these cards. You see how your arms are? <laughs> okay. 
don't be satisfied with just this ten, there's these nine cups and thinking well that's all you deserve no you deserve this one more you deserve 10 cups the ace of cups you deserve that that one that same arm coming out that spirit right there trying to give you one more cup because you deserve it you have earned it you it's it, it's for your justice okay but you you're you could be feeling shutting down like this four of holding on too tight and stopping you from moving forward okay that that feels like what's causing you to cross your arms and say no i've got enough i'm fine i don't need any more okay let spirit give you that other cup let him let spirit give you the complete set of 10 cups that's what you have have at your um, ability to receive right now so how can you let go of that what can you do well you have to be strong you have to be devoted you have to have the passion uh the the uh, discipline perhaps then the courage to uh step out of uh, a comfort zone because he's pretty comfortable right here and this man here is pretty comfortable you know they're just sitting there being comfortable being happy being this the four of cups isn't quite satisfied but he's satisfied he's satisfied with his ten his nine cups i mean they're pretty nice those are some nice cups right there those are nice trophies but you got one more big one one more big cup one more big trophy from spirit that's that wants to spirit wants to give you one more okay it's not time to stay closed off or anything like that is you you might you might, I mean, it's your choice if you want to be happy with the nine cups. But if you want to go to the next level and, and go to the ten cups, you know, it might it might require some strength. This is what it's going to take. Some strength, some, some devotion, some passion, some courage, and some control. Control over um, negative emotions, okay? Control over negative emotions or hurtful things. Uh, letting it go. Letting everything go with love. Letting it go with justice. Knowing that justice will prevail in every situation. Either now or later. You know, you can let go of the control of uh, feeling like you need to control it. Let, um, But practice letting spirit control the situation and maybe this is also about joining the party here there's three cups here having fun people are having fun you know and maybe you're feeling you're holding yourself back from that maybe you should be the fourth cup coming in here and joining the party you know the love the the celebration and just the camaraderie and the the fun that that you have and then also this is the full moon maybe this is this is the your sisters and your uh, your women friends coming together and to celebrate the, this new moon okay all right let's check out the uh strength card is um clarified by the ten of swords and the Ten of Swords says that it has ended and finished for better or worse. So if you've come out, looks like, you know, if someone hurt you, someone did you wrong, someone did something to you to make you feel bad in any way, well, be strong enough to accept the fact that it's ended, it's finished. Let it go. Just, it's, it's the end of it. Let that be the end of it. Let that be all there is to it um, and know that, you know, what you have to look forward to is, is justice, victory, ace of cups, strength, celebration. You know, you don't have to feel this anymore, ever. Really, you don't have to. If, if somebody hurts you, you you can learn how through this experience how to just let it go with love let the universe make it right let the will of fortune 
play out for that for those people who are hurting you if they are and finally we have what resources are supporting me as i release release and let go of any kind of pain or let go of apathy or satisfaction in lower level things now there's nothing wrong with the nine of cups i'm telling you that's a good card but it can be better but the will of fortune is clarified by the seven of wands and the seven of wands is saying that there may be challenges ahead but you can face them okay you can stand your ground you can assert yourself you can use your willpower you can you are making it you are overcoming the challenges um, this is incidentally the next step beyond the six of wands is the seven of wands so you've earned your, your, you've come out on top here and someone, all these down below may be trying to challenge you because you are the one on top. You did win. You, you were victorious here, but, um, you know, you're so strong. You have the strength, you know, that you're going to be fine. You, you have nothing to worry about. You could, you stand your ground, you do your, you know, you, t you have the advantage here. And you just can per persevere with this. And so that's clarifying to the wheel of fortune saying, well, you know, the wheel's turning. Um, you know, it's not always going to be easy. There's going to be challenges ahead, and but you can face them. And But all in all, this new cycle is promising to be an improvement from the last one. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and get some spirit animal input here. Spirit animals will help us uh, a little bit more to understand and put it all together in a, in a very unique way. So what do we have for Scorpio today? All right. I'm going to take three of these for Scorpio. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle, shuffle. All right, let's see here. Oh, that's not good, but we'll just do it. That will take it. All right, here we go. Three cards for Scorpio. Okay, you have dragon, passion, and that is here. Here we go. Uh, okay. The dragon is a reminder of your strong will and fiery personality. It is also a symbol of passion and fire. You are being asked to practice self-control and be cautious so that your passion does not lead you into trouble. Okay? Um, that's what, what could have happened here. You know, passion can lead us into trouble and it can cause us to hurt other people as well as ourselves or it might bring out something in someone else that does hurt us. But... In any case, this is just a little bit of advice that, uh, you know, you do have a strong will. And so um, just practice self-control. And that's what the strength card is about, too. Self-control. It takes strength to, to control yourself and discipline yourself. And that's what it, it is. It's all about, um, you know, overcoming obstacles by, you know, practicing getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Next, we have butterfly, metamorphosis. Pay attention to the areas in your life or personality that are in need of profound change or transformation. You are about to enter a phase of expansion and growth, which will be highly beneficial for your future. Okay, so the butterfly is uh, a changer, a, a, me a metamorphosis uh, you know, they go through many changes and Scorpio is a sign, is the sign of transformation. So um, it looks like you, you know, this will of fortune is bringing you into a place where you're about to transform again right now. And this time the future will be highly beneficial, um, especially if you keep in mind how to uh, manage your own vibration, you know, by positive thinking, optimism, uh, joyfulness, you know, having joy, uh, being proud of yourself, 
feeling yourself full of love. All of those things are going to help you in your next cycle and in this transformation. The next uh, card we have is Wolf, Inner Strength. You may be facing a challenge you feel less than prepared for. This is a reminder that you have all the tools in your spiritual treasure chest to handle this effectively. Take a step back and try to take a look at it with fresh eyes. Okay. That, that's talking about more about this situation. First of all, um, something happening here made, made you, you know, facing a challenge you feel less prepared for. That could be, that's talking about this too. You know, there's challenges ahead and um, there's going to be some struggle, but you do have everything you need. You did, you did just defeat and just win. You were, you're the victor in this situation with the six. This is the seven. It's another, another test, another competition for you. And, um, you know, just stay, you know, be, stay in control of yourself you know, um, continue to rely on the strength and, and your own self-control, your inner strength. You know, that's going to help you to handle this uh, easily. All right. Okay. Um, that's all for that part of the reading today, Scorpio. I really do appreciate you uh, watching that with me and, and letting me read this for you because, you know, it's, it, it helps me so much. It, it teaches me so much, not only, um, you know, for, for me as an audience member, when I, when I watch readings, but, you know, doing the readings and for other people, it helps me too. It, it teaches me so much about life. Tarot, the tarot cards are so powerful at teaching how to get better, how to grow as a person. And you just can't beat it. I mean, <laughs> that's what, that's my, that's how I feel about it. So anyway, let's go ahead and do that last part, the mini reading with the, the Oracle uh, for Career and Life Oracle. Let me just make these upside, right side up. Okay, maybe just one. Okay, let's go ahead and check these out. We're going to take three cards of the for these today. All right, here we go for Scorpio Career oracles all right let's do this oh feeling got to do a little bit more a little bit more there we go okay here we go scorpio all right your first card says timing it's all in the timing right now Pull another card to see if you need to do it now. Wait a while or make a dis different decision. All right, let's, let's pull another card. Illumination. Something hidden is coming to light now. You find out about new jobs, opportunities, and options. Someone lends you a helping hand. Okay. Interesting. The next one you have is Cultivation. You are in the growing phase right now, and you must continue to water the seeds you have planted in order to reap the rewards. So it looks like you're uh, going to harvest something soon. You just keep on doing what you're doing, watering your plant, your seeds, and you will reap the rewards. Okay. Offerings. You will be offered a new position or investment opportunity. Think about it and research it carefully before accepting. Okay, so maybe don't jump into anything like that right now. Just look at it, research it. Okay, all right. That's going to do it this time, Scorpio. I really do appreciate you being here. I had a fabulous time uh, reading these cards today. Um, I do have sincere gratitude for your uh, participation in this. I want to remind you, you can... Uh, put a comment in if you if you want to try to participate in figuring out what those those stones that uh, or crystals that I had out at the fir first of the video. Um, so yeah, I also want to uh, ask if you would please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I did make it a little easier for you if you're watching on a TV screen the way I normally watch my uh, YouTube videos. 
Um, so when you get to the end, you'll have those pop-up things that you can just navigate up to the uh, subscribe button and click on it. And there you are, you're subscribed. You don't have to back out or anything like that. So it's a smaller amount of effort on your part. Um, but for my part, it would be a tremendous boost and, uh, you know, a, a, a lot of gratitude coming for me, you know, that I, that I'd be feeling. Um, I also want to add that your likes and comments, they also help me to get better and better. I love each and every one of them. They are all special to me. And so I just want to thank you again for all that you do. Um, so I guess that's going to be all for now. I do uh, hope that you have a, an outstanding week ahead and month ahead and your whole life. Um, so that being uh, all for now, we'll see you next time. Love and light.